Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Kai. Um, this is a crazy event. Again, um, I, I think I mentioned it in the last two videos, but uh, we are, this is a best of three against um, a Korean um, pro player, JS2, um, on Blue Red Delta. I'm playing Doomsday. It is a somewhat negative matchup, if, I wanna, like, if it's not even the, best, the worst matchup ever, but um, this is going to be a best of three sponsored by um by korean um member spunky 011 and thank you so much for uh, this opportunity and whoever wins this match is gonna take um 50 usd in cash so uh we lost the first match we won the first uh, we won the second match um 02 and then 20 and we are about to start match number three as we going into um the opening hands we are on the draw, and this is not a keep. This is better. I'm gonna keep this. And let's get rid of... Um, since we are so close to casting Doomsday, I kind of want to keep Force of Will as a backup. I think I want to get rid of one of the Brainstorms. Um, and basically, we are trying to look for um, more mana sources in Doomsday. Okay, there's Delva. Well, first time the opponent doesn't have a rag event on one. Okay, that's a big relief. <laughs> okay, Edge of Autumn and Person Tutor are both not what we want. They are. Okay, Dark Ritual is also not great. Um, at this point, I'm look only looking for um, Fetch Lands on Doomsday. And a potential dress. Okay, Dragon Rage Shadow. Sure. Wasteland. Okay, that sucks a bit. Let's um let's cycle in response. We might hit. Okay, we, we could have hit uh, Edge of Autumn. Hmm? Okay. Shit. Okay, we don't uh. We didn't hit second land, uh, another land. That's unfortunate. But also Delva, okay, Delva is on a one is on one one duty. So like, even though they have three creatures, this is not a significant uh, clock just yet. We need we need, we need to hit mana though. Um, okay, this is mana. I take it. It's not the best land in the world. In fact, it's it's the one dual dual land I didn't want it to draw. <laughs> Um, but it's it is what it is. Let's see here. So, okay, mm. they got rid of Murktide. Um, and I do wonder. Okay, they kept it. The other hand, the other card It's probably an instant or sorcery for for Delver. So, I. Do you think that I am supposed to force pick a pitch packed? Because um, I need to progress my game plan, and um, this is gonna be three for five points, maybe even more. If they cast a sorcery next turn, um, th we we have we, this is nine points, so we have to, we have to force here, unfortunately, to um, because we need to get going. Okay, brainstorm edge is terrible. <laughs> Okay, free trade is not bad. It's not bad. It might, it might help us. Once we, once we find find Doomsday, it's gonna be Dark Ritual, LED, and free trade. So these are gonna be best friends uh, for enabling this uh, same turn kill. Okay, well, if it, okay, they reveal Force of Will to Delva. All right. Well, maybe this is how the cookie crumbles. Mm. Interesting. Okay, so they flip the force of will, but they don't want to draw it. They fetch an upkeep. Interesting. Okay, so they don't have a blue card in hand. They don't have a blue card in hand. <laughs> they have a wasteland. Okay, well, that's that. Um. Okay, so this is full zoom mode. They probably also don't have a don't have a daze. Like I don't think they have any blue spells. <laughs> well. Okay, we drew force anyway. Oh shit, okay. And we were dead. Okay, to classy beatdowns. Let's do the, the um 
our sideboarding against Delver, it is minus four Force of Wills, minus two Personal Tutors, um, plus three Pact, plus two Duress, and one Cavern of Souls to basically, um, like, these spell, like, first of all, we increase our, um, how do you say, like, um, we increase our interaction, or like, non-interaction, um, Increase it by two slots, and we also get rid of the personal tutors, which are kind of abysmal against Ragavan. And the general game plan here is to um, is to hit land drops and go for fast kills, like this, for example. Um, this is a fast kill. It doesn't have it doesn't have protection, but um, I, what I've learned in this matchup is that if you have these hands. You have to jam. It is unfortunately as um, as it sounds, um, we can't wait for interaction to potentially or like eventually um, be drawn. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't happen. So my best bet is um, we cast Doomsday. It hopefully resolves, and then we can work from we can work from there. Okay, they did have a counter. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. So we might be dead entirely. But like the the, the, the point is that um like imagine if you keep this hand and you don't go for it on, on turn one, and your opponent you know casts a bunch of cantrips and creatures and things like that, and um later in the game, like eventually after like a couple of turns, you maybe eventually find a preordain or like a, a ponder or a dress effect, uh, but by that time, it's already too late because your opponent has cast more cantrips. He has already progressed his mana also. Okay, I did it somehow. I, I would have liked to draw it, maybe. <laughs> I mean, given how bad our hand is, I would have liked to, to draw ideas and bound. The like, Cavern of Souls and Thassa Oracle are both kind of dead. So. Oh. Um, what's also what's interesting is that if my opponent indeed casts Ideas Unbound, it goes to my graveyard, so it is available for um, for future Doomsday Piles. If my opponent doesn't cast Ideas Unbound, then it's gonna stay in exile forever, and I don't even have access to it if I want to. Not that it matters too much, um, since we are miles behind. Um, okay, they discard a Skullington Island Ragavan. Okay, well, basically three dead cards. Let's. Yeah, well, this is a uh, fetch land. We don't, we don't have any any business here, and also no protection. So like, it's gonna be it's gonna be real hard. Like they connect with Ragavan every single turn, and we are lacking both Doomsday and protection and card draw. Like we are lacking basically everything, and we have all the worst cards in our um all the worst cards in our hand. Okay, now he gets a Fonda. I mean, at this point, I already don't see a way out how we can win. Like, for us to win this game, um, what needs to happen is we need to f um, find Brainstorm and we need to resolve Brainstorm. Um, with probably even like two Brainstorms to, to, to fix all this mess. Uh, like, this hand was basically a Goblin Charbelcher start. Like, if they have Force, they have it and we lose. And if they, uh, if they don't have the Force, then it is likely that we steal the game. Okay, well that's brainstorm. Um, if they have uh, if they have power blast, I'm gonna concede. Be sure. 